Written off by some as old hippies in new clothes, yet praised by others for breathing new life into pop's restrictive practices, All About Eve have obsessively sought perfection in their songs of romance. This single-minded approach, whatever critics say, has brought them to the brink of major chart success, as the latest single, What Kind of Fool, bears out. What Kind of Fool, All About Eve, two of their number in the studio with me, that's Julianne Regan and Tim Briceno. Welcome along. Um, Julianne, there's this concept that seems central to your philosophy, which is all about, about romance and, and dreaminess. Isn't that a bit outmoded in these rather chilling days of the late 80s? Well, we've taken a lot of flack for being too romantic or too unrealistic, but I think it's probably because of the, the harsh climate that we're living in that um, we do that. It's more or less a, an alternative. There's so many people singing about the real things in life that we try to address the, um, the more romantic things. That's right. Tim, don't you feel perhaps you should confront real issues in the songs rather than uh, dream off? Um, no, because I don't really think that music is uh, some sort of place for that, really. I mean, there's a lot of people that do do that, but uh, it's not for us, really, at all. I mean, life's like that in real life, but I don't see why you go and sing about things like that. But Julianne, I think many women are expected these days in music to sell sex alongside the song. So mm. is this romance some kind of antidote to that? Well, I think the, the other way of doing it is a very lazy and a very obvious way, and it's a cheat, really. And it's also something that I personally wouldn't feel at all comfortable in doing. So um, I think what we offer does have more of, um, although it, it is escapist, there is an, an honesty and a reality about it that you, you don't really get with the kind of um, flaunting type ladies. <laughs> What sort of things inspire you then? Are we talking about the romantic poets or what? I'm, I'm quite big on them really. I, um, I was always one of these girls who was good at English at school. Ah, so I, uh, I, I got into all that and stayed on and failed my English a little, but enjoyed reading the books. So um, I'm a bit of a layman at it, but I do enjoy it a lot. And they're my main, my favourites are the romantics, the Shelleys and the Byrons. Tim, as I said in the introduction, you have been criticised for perhaps being too rooted in the 60s, of being old hippies in new clothes mm. and all that. What would your response be to that criticism? Get stuffed. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we do borrow from lots of different periods of time, but it's all mixed up with a lot of ourselves. So um, you can't pin us down to one period of time that's gone. You just can't. It's not fair. Julian, I was very curious about the name All About Eve because it comes from a film, doesn't it? Mm, it's um, a very, I forget who the director is, but it's an old black and white film starring Bette Davis, who we're, we're big fans of. And a couple of Easter's ago it was on television and um, all enjoyed watching it. We're desperate for a name and we're coming up with ridiculous things like the chocolate snowman, which I don't <laughs> think we'd be where we are today if we were called that. So we just really felt something about the name and kept it. And um, I also believe Marilyn Monroe had a bit part in the film. It's her first movie role, so it's quite a, quite a famous film, a turning point. That's right. We have a producer here who raves about those old movies, I should say, <laughs> and was thrilled that you were coming into the <laughs> studio. Just back from the US, I know, Tim, um, quite an indifferent trip in some respects, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, um, it was it was funny because it was uh, very very big. It's hard to imagine the scale of the place till you get over there. And the Americans are odd people. They say odd things. Stay lovely being one of the things that particularly cringeworthy. But um, yeah, it's just like England set a lot bigger. It's like coming back to a village when we came back to London. With some relief, I dare say. Yeah. OK, well, listen, we wish you all the very best for next year. I know it's going to be very busy once again. And let's take another look now at the latest single. Here are All About Eve with What Kind of Fool. <laughs> 